everybody, it's Diane. Well, I'm doing another addition to the Art Studio app um, video that I created yesterday, and we are going to uh, learn how to do some layering, lettering with shadows. Um, this is the basic instruction here, um, but I'm going to hide this picture, and we're going to create a picture, and you can go back to that. Uh, original screen to um, uh, refer to that later as you would like. So I hit the plus mark, I'm going to insert a layer, which I just drug to the top. And you see the blue line around that layer means that's the active layer. Um, I'm going to go to text and um, just for ease we're going to just do a uh, Fung Prey Lover again. Uh, we're doing it in white, so let's uh, choose um, we like a big bold lettering. I use the um, chalkboard bold because I like that lettering. I think it's thick and bold and I like the rounded corners to it. Um, but you can choose any font you want. Um, so we're going to do Fun Prey Lover. And, oops, let's do done. Um, sorry. Um, I want to get rid of that white so I can see how big we are working here. Okay, so let's go edit. Edit that text. We're going to make it bigger. Okay, so there. That's done. Um, so there we go. We've got Fung Prey Lover uh, text, which is our active layer, is the text. Um, we are going to go to Select, and we're going to choose the Alpha to Selection. And can you see that it's got little dashed lines that are encircling uh, the lettering? Now, if you imported a PNG and a design, it would do the same thing to that design. You would still choose alpha to selection, but we're doing it with lettering. Okay, so now we're going to um, place a layer um, below that. And then we see that that layer is the active selection, uh, active layer now. And I am going to um, hide the text layer pressing the little I that's next to it. I hid my text layer and now you see my active layer is here and you see the little dashed line still kind of it's hard to see on the screen sorry. Uh, make you dizzy? <laughs> okay so those those letters are um, there and uh, from the text and they're now on our second layer. So now I can go to bucket fill, I can go to fill and choose a color and it'll just fill those letters. However I want to do that. I can choose each letter or if I tap the whole screen it fills them all. Well, let's, um, so we are going to undo, 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 undo do. We're going to actually fill it with bright yellow. We're going to do the same color theme that we did yesterday's video. So we are going to bucket fill yellow. Now I'm going to airbrush a little bit of green and a little bit of orange. And you can play with your opacity here. Um, I don't like it to be real opaque. I like it to be a little bit of a shadow so it blends with the yellow. So you notice I'm kind of painting right above the lettering. So the edge of that brush stroke kind of gets the lettering. If I think the green's gone down too far, I can um, reselect with an eyedropper that yellow and I'm going to rebrush a little bit more of the yellow to go back up again. Okay, so now we're going to select orange. And I'm just doing it in the My Singing Monsters colors because that's my thing is My Singing Monsters and everything that I do is kind of related to My Singing Monsters. Okay, so I like the little bit darker at the very bottom edge here. So there we've got Fung Prey Lover. Um, 
And that was really easy. We didn't have to uh, do some of the steps I was showing you yesterday. It's just a different way to approach it. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we are going to insert another layer just by hitting the plus mark that put another layer um, behind the text. And we are going to choose black as our active color now. And we're going to go to filters, uh, stylize, drop shadow. And we're going to change the, our settings to inner shadow. Blur radius is 10. Opacity is 100. Offset X is 0. And offset Y is, um, what did we do? Um, hang on I look at that. I think it was um, 10. Oh, 4. Uh, 4. Just where I got it. Okay, and then I'm going to choose Apply. Okay, now you can see that that created um, depth right away. I'm going to go to... Um, select and deselect so now you can see my lettering now has a nice little deep shadow so it looks like it's sunken in the lettering is actually sunken in so that's pretty pretty cool um, so that's this layer right here is our shadow um, if I make that white layer so you can kind of see what I'm looking at. So here's my active layer. If I uh, hide the colored layer, you see this is the actual layer we just created out of shadow. If you want your shadow to be a little bit more vivid, uh, more pronounced, you can actually copy that shadow layer by just hitting the little um, uh, two page plus mark uh, symbol down here and that created a second layer. And we're gonna merge it back to itself, merge it down. So now we've got one layer of shadow again, but it's a little bit more vivid. I'm going to relook at the color layer here. There's our color layer with the depth that we've just added by that inner shadow. Okay, so now we're going to go do our uh, dark green layer that we like around the edge um, for our My, My Singing Monsters uh lettering that we like to kind of copy the coloring that My Singing Monsters puts in their lettering. And um, I'm going to, uh, maybe I'll just keep that white layer up. The white layer is just to kind of show you better in the, this image. Okay, so we're going to go to, whoops. Filters, stylize, glow. Uh, we're going to go to the opacity 100 and glow or blur, blur radius will be just two. Apply. And so we're just going to keep doing this filter, stylize, glow, apply. I better save this in case it crashes on me. Sometimes it crashes. So, um, filter. This program is really good about autosave, but I have so much uh, memory in all my projects in here, I kind of crash it a lot. <laughs> That's me, you know. Oops, 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 oops. Uh, sorry, see how I'm losing all my color? Um, back again. Um, filter, stylize, glow. Um, Oh, I forgot to merge my layers. That's what I'm doing. My shadow layer is getting filled with color. That's what happened there. So I forgot to merge my shadow with my colored layer. So I need to merge down. If I merge visible, it merges all my layers together. If I merge down, it just merges one layer with the layer right below it. All right, let's go back to filter, stylize, glow, apply. I like making mistakes like that because because you'll make some of the same mistakes and you'll wonder what happened, what did I do wrong? But um, that's how we learn. Okay, we're just gonna keep doing this. Filter, stylize, glow, apply. <clears throat> this is exciting to um, show you something new um, with shading and shadows. Give it some, our artwork, some depth. Ooh. 
oops, I've got some, I must have uh, touched the screen here, so I'm going to erase that because I don't want that to become part of the glow. And, and that's something else that you'll do too when you're playing is you'll touch a part of the screen and you'll erase something and accidentally. But okay, filter, stylize, glow, apply. Good old undo button. I like it. <laughs> I see a little bit more of a, whoops, I want to erase that uh, little booger in here. Okay, we're almost done with the green. Okay, I think that ought to do it. Uh, now we're going to actually uh, duplicate this layer so it's more vivid. So the green blur that we just did is more of a vivid line than a blurry line. So we're going to duplicate, merge, down. And let's do that again. Duplicate, merge, down. Okay, so now we're going to go back to select alpha to selection. So now we're actually selecting the color layer not our white text layer that we originally were working with. Alpha 2 selection will select whatever active layer design you have on the active layer. Okay, so we've selected that and we are going to um, place another layer above it and we're gonna choose, um, color will be a much lighter shade of the color we are uh, currently using. So let's lighten that up. We want it to be fairly light. Uh, it's going to show up as a, a brightness, a lightness on the. Um, all right, let's try that color. Okay, so we're going to go to filters, stylize, drop shadow. We're going to change the blur radius to five uh, instead of ten. The other settings stayed the same as what we originally set for the first time we used this until we uh, closed the program again. Okay, let's go to um, select and deselect. And let's look at our shadow. And I don't think it's white enough or light enough. So let's do that again. Let's undo, undo, and let's brighten and lighten up that color quite a bit more. Okay, now let's try that. Filters, stylize, drop shadow. So our settings are inner shadow 5, 100, 0, and 4. <clears throat> I think that's going to look much better. That's a good shadow. Okay. Okay, so we've got that. So we're going to go back to select and deselect. So now we've got our lettering here, and I'm going to clean up this little, little piece right here. Oops, I'm in my shadow. Let's go back here to, oops. Just clean that up now. Okay, so um, with the My Singing Monsters logo, now we have a nice little um, light blue um, trim around this. So we're going to go to our blue that has a slight bit of green to it. Okay, so we're going to go to, uh, oh, we're going to merge our layers. Don't forget to do that again. Okay, so we're going to merge our shadow. And I think I'm going to just make that shadow a little bit more vivid. So I'm going to duplicate that shadow layer and merge it upon itself. 
and then I'm going to merge the shadow layer down to the color layer. Merge down. And now we've cho chosen our last color that we're going to put on the outside edge. We're going to stylize, glow, apply. Filter, stylize, glow, apply. So we're going to do this a number of times. It's all personal preference, however you want to do that. I'm going to go in and erase a couple little spots that I see appear that got touched by that one single little brush stroke that I did earlier. Notice how I'm selecting my brush tool to be smaller or bigger to get into that little corner there. And when you add glow, you'll see little things that will appear like that. And that's a good time to erase it now. Okay, so let's go back to Filter, Stylize, Glow, Apply. A couple more times here. Okay, that looks good. Let's duplicate that a couple times. Duplicate, merge down, duplicate, merge down. Okay, so there's our finished lettering. If I will hide this white layer now, I can uh, save this as a sticker, which means I can take it and put it on top of anything I want later. So I'm going to go to um, File, Export, PNG export to photos. Okay, so let's hide that layer. Um, and I'm going to look at my white layer here. So we're going to bring it back. We're going to go to File, Import, Insert as a layer, Import from photos, the sticker we just made. So we're going to pretend we've got a picture here that we're just going to put a sticker on. Um, doesn't have to be a white page. So I'm going to go image, um, edit, transform layer, move, scale, rotate. I can move my little sticker anywhere I want. I can go to adjust hue, saturation, and lightness, and I can change the colors of it if I want to change the colors by playing with the hue. So that's another fun little thing to play with, is changing the hue of things. So I'm going to cancel, but I just wanted to show you that. Okay, that's it. So that's our lettering with shading and shadows. Um, I hope you have fun playing with this now, too. Um, I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Bye now.